Hey guys, welcome back. We've been talking about using your mind, using your brain. Uh, uh, it makes me think of a story. Uh, when I was an intern in chiropractic school, my senior intern, so he's the guy who gets to use me as a slave, you know, like like he gets the glory and I do all the grunt work. And uh, if, if I ever made a mistake, he would yell at me. He would say, use your brain. And uh, so anyways, just when I said use your mind or use your brain, it reminded me of, of um, my senior intern in chiropractic school, use your brain. But here's, here's my point is we've been talking about visualizing and, and seeing, your, seeing yourself a certain way and what you focus on and what you think about manifests physically and physiologically in your body. It also reminds me of a time in school when I was studying diseases. So this is before I was an intern. We, we took pathology, many, many hours of pathology uh, in, in chiropractic school. And I was studying multiple sclerosis. And I swear I got multiple sclerosis. Because like I'd study about like numbness and tingling in part of your body and the next day I'd have it. Or, or then I was studying you know, ADHD and I, I could swear I had ADHD. And then I would study things like um, sleep disorders and go, I got this one too. And, and I found out it's actually a condition. They call it medical intern syndrome or medical studentitis. And there's, there's many names for it. But the point is, you, and you know, if, if you're a nurse or a medical doctor or you, you, you've studied medicine in, in any shape or form, you know when you study something in detail and you try to learn it, your body starts to act like you have that disease. And it's really weird, but it's true. And you know, a lot of these uh, medical students go to their professors and go, I have this one. And then when they study something, it's like, I have this one too. And it's funny, professors are probably getting a good laugh out of it. But here's the point. What you focus on, you can actually create in your body you focus on disease, your body will act like you have it, even if you don't. It'll act like you have a brain tumor, even if you don't. It'll act like you have diabetes, even if you don't. It'll act like you have some kind of an eating disorder, even if you don't. So if studying the disease can cause us to feel that way, feel the disease, how about studying wellness and health and fitness? And you really start following some of these people with podcasts on the internet that talk about how to be healthy, how to sleep well, how to energize your body. You study those things, just study them, even if you don't implement them, your body will start to act different. Just realizing what you're capable of, what you can do, and then you'll start to manifest the positive symptoms and the positive side effects of good things in your life. Try that this week.